on shots in the in the games that they've lost games two and four oh for nine with no one even six feet near him so that's how that happens as you see the great knockdown point had a 33 point lead just underway in this fourth quarter and Trey Burke man as he found his team and his game here second playoff series hadn't scored a point in the playoffs until this year George found shout out <laughs> just do better sorry man sorry <laughs> here's Montrez Harrell for three he's got it and the Ben still loving it Montrez Harrell has been at, with his time on the bench is cheerleading as loud as anybody when he's on the floor they return the favor for him love seeing that this is a tight knit group George leaves it Montrez Harrell and now they're up a setup by George the Clipper to come back 32 points tonight for Kawhi Leonard Paul George has 30 he remains in the game Clippers have had a dominating performance here tonight as Kit Gilchrist misses offensive board Curry he'll kick it and out of bounds off of George that'll be Dallas ball with 10 on the shot clock Mavericks with their largest comeback win in Dallas playoff history with that game winner by Luka Doncic Luka with two triple doubles in this series thus far in the first four games but the Clippers with a major response here in game five as Burke comes up empty. Mm -hmm. It's just pouring it on right now. Up 30, the Clippers. And now it's just a matter of how long Doc Rivers is going to let it ride. Does he get some extra rest for Paul George? There's part of me that thinks Doc might be very interested in keeping Paul George hot, letting stack up a big game. DeLon Wright with a steal. And that's going to be a whistle. Visit the NBA app for more details. Paul George, 13th career, 30 point oh, you can take a playoff line, game. <laughs> no, and he adds it's... three more to it. 33 <laughs> for PG 13. Now you say it's time. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, definitely. Still have the unknown, and every coach is fearful of injuries, especially after the job is done. Why right. push it? Shamit's at the scorer's table. George looking for one more chance here. He's got Justin Jackson on him. He goes to the hole, and he'll go to the line. The two shoulder injuries coming back from a horrific leg injury. I mean, Paul George, if anything, is resilient. And you can tell that he had something on his mind to prove this game coming in with the hot hand. Well, will LeBron James and the Lakers advance to the second round or will the Portland Trailblazers stay alive and extend the series game five tomorrow night 9 p.m. Eastern right here on TNT Chris and I'll be here with Jared Greenberg it's gonna be a tough go for the Blazers now we'll see if they have any answers here in the playoffs starting to get his wind his timing back after missing a month. Curry. And Harrell with the rebound. Harrell feeling frisky right now. He'll take elation. So they got a chance to set a playoff scoring record tonight in their franchise history. Josh Reeves on the floor for the Mavericks. It's Delon Wright who takes it to the cup. Chance for some playing time for some of those deep on the bench. Got Antonius Cleveland for Dallas with Josh Reeves, Justin Jackson as well. Shama turns it over. Jackson running it up ahead, right, and a two-handed jam. Antonius Cleveland 
second year player out of Southeast Missouri State. Good for him to get a playoff run here in the bubble. Yeah, you should definitely get a new surge of energy in this last 624 because you have guys that haven't experienced the playoffs before looking forward to get a good taste. And even if they've been, they haven't got a significant amount of time looking to get a little bit of a lather. Increase the energy and level of competition in this one on the way to the finish. And attention to him. Oh, no, you're not coming out, Montrez. Wow, man, I'm telling you what, Antonius Cleveland has some serious hopes. Oh, yeah. And he's going back again. Same and score move. this time. <laughs> Two way player with the Mavericks earning his way onto this playoff roster and getting a chance to play. And you know, his friends and family enjoying all this. Every minute is valuable in the NBA, especially when it comes in the playoffs. As Patrick Patterson laces up a three. Uh, good for Patrick Patterson. Justin Jackson. And that's going to be a foul. 125 career playoff games. First time he's ever been ejected. It was a frustrating night for Dallas, and it started in the first half as Harold puts two more on the board. If you're Dallas right now, and now you're going to be down 3-2, Needing to win the next two games to advance against this very talented Clipper team that looks like it's starting to find some footing. Your thoughts? If I'm Dallas, I'm always going to believe because uh, we have a championship coaching pedigree. We have a great young player uh, and two great young players in Porzingis uh, and, and Donchins. And so uh, no one is supposed to believe in you but yourself and all of the fans there in Dallas. And that's just how you have to come out. Uh, this game is over. It doesn't matter how much you, you lose by, whether it's 35 or one point you lost. Uh, kind of get together, regroup, have a good day of rest tomorrow and film and get back at it. Well, one silver lining, Jared Greer, 20th made three in this game. 20 for 31. 65 percent success rate from behind the arc. These were the top two scoring offenses in the league as far as offensive rating goes. Mavericks set a, an NBA record with an offensive rating of 116.7 this year. Harrell scores again. Well, Doc Rivers says you're not coming out. Keep playing and play he is doing. He continues to score. He's got 17 now. Tell you what, you miss a month while your other players, teammates are getting in shape. It's really tough. And look at that, coming in, getting a charge. And a quick nine for the Clippers. Their 21st made three. Reeves comes up empty. Inside the NBA, presented by Kia. Coming up next, DJ Kenny Charles and Shaq to the locker room. Doc Rivers had him out there for a few extra minutes. He added to his scoring total of 19 points and <laughs> feels like a conversation that might happen at some point yeah. between those two. <laughs> I noticed you didn't really uh, take the bait on the, the Mavericks previous high, you know, allowing points in a game against the Sacramento King. You didn't dress that game. I guess that's why. Oh, I did. That was the 2003 Sacramento Kings that put up 141 against the Dallas Mavericks. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that's the year I actually hurt my knee in Dallas. And so, uh, wasn't around for that game, but boy, we used to have fun hitting them in the head. Yeah, hit me on the Instagram, fam. We used to hit y'all in the head with the great Dirk Nowitzki. Three pointer in the corner by Rodney Magruder. Everybody's in the act tonight. 22nd made three. Under a minute to go. All Clippers tonight. And they will take a 3 2 advantage. They will have a closeout opportunity come Thursday night. That game will be seen on ESPN. Chance for the Clippers to advance. The Lakers will have a chance to advance tomorrow right here on TNT. We will have game five for you. Blazers and Lakers. The lefty Reeves comes up empty. All right, Chris, it's been a lot of fun tonight. We've seen a couple of blowouts in the last two games. But uh, starting to come to the end of this first round, it'll officially conclude on Sunday, but some closeout opportunities happening tomorrow. 
No Damian Lillard. For